All right, so we made another scene from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. We've done a scene from this movie before a long time ago, and we've been wanting to do another. So here's how we made it. So we're reprising the role of the Terminator as our friend Matt, and we used him in our original T2 scene, so we've been trying to find another one to use him in again. It's good to be back. I like being in a booth with Dustin, tight quarters. I didn't get a lot of that last time. Mostly it was me being naked. And his costume is really easy. It's just the leather jacket again and the black t-shirt. Now, for some reason, I couldn't find the same sunglasses that we used last time. I have no idea where they ended up in our pile of homemade props and costumes. So I had to find another pair. I just blacked out the lenses with some black marker, but it totally works. Another funny thing is that Matt's hair is longer this time. He wasn't able to cut it like he was last time. So he has some long shaggy hair. So we ended up just slicking it back and you can't really tell the difference. We don't ever see the back. I got to play John Connor in this one and his outfit's pretty easy. It's just a black t-shirt and an army jacket. I actually have my dad's army jacket that he wore in Vietnam. So if you look close, you can actually see it says McLean on it. And then it's the wig. You know, he's got this very 90s hairdo. So we're trying to go with the Edward Furlong off to one side kind of thing. So we used one of our wigs and just put it on sideways and cut it. So you've got a long side and a short side. And that pretty much completes the look for John Connor. John Connor's foster parents are played by our friends Hari and Davey. Smile or I'll cut your throat. Come on, why is he always drinking milk all the time? It's That's mine. The only thing I like. Hari's been in a lot of our episodes, and I've known Davey for a long time, but this is the first homemade movie episode for him. You guys are really quick on everything. Like, considering the fact that you make everything, it's amazing. Because yeah. usually people yeah. take like an hour to even set a light, so. This is my favorite movie, probably of all time. It was my very first R-rated movie that I ever saw in the theater, and I was cool with all the violence except this scene. So I'm excited to hopefully scar some other child out there. Davey's outfit as the foster dad is pretty easy in this, just a blue baseball shirt. John's foster mom, Janelle, wears a cut-off kind of uh, flannel shirt. I found one that was really, really close at that thrift store. All I had to do was cut the sleeves off and it was good to go. White t-shirt, jeans, but she has some crazy foster mom hair. It's all poofy and curly, so we used our wig. I think we used this for Frodo, but we kind of just teased it and matted it out and kind of kept pulling it out to the side, and it had a really funny look to it. Wolfie's fine, honey. Wolfie's just fine. Janelle talks on a yellow phone, so I actually found a phone at a thrift store while I was getting these clothes and just painted it yellow. All right, so for the shots inside the phone booth, we just set this up really simple in the dining room. Starts with just a black sheet against the wall. We actually wanted to be able to shoot through what looked like glass, so I used a sheet of plexiglass that I had in the attic and it was kind of dirty already and we just kind of clipped it up and taped it up and put some little edges on it so it sort of has that square shape like a phone booth and then we just used a shoebox and painted it black and put that on the side there kind of looks like the phone but I actually have an antique phone that has a black handle so we just sat that on my lap and kind of held it up and used that as the actual receiver for the phone. So I've attached a light to the ceiling so that one shoots straight down at us and then there's one below shooting up at us. Matt's pretty tall and I'm kind of short, but to make me look even shorter and younger, I was actually sitting on a little stool to kind of get his shoulders at the right place and my head's in the right place. There's a very simple trick in this when the Terminator is talking, but he's using John Connor's voice, and we did it the same way they did in the movie, which is that we shot it with Matt actually saying the lines. I'm right here. I'm fine. And then afterwards, I just recorded the lines myself. I'm right here. I'm fine. And, you know, when you're editing it, you just put my dialogue on top of his, and that's how it works. Hey, Janelle. What's wrong with Wolfie? I can hear him barking. Is he okay? Now for the kitchen scenes, we just shot this in my kitchen. And the layout is a little bit different than theirs. It's not quite as roomy, so it's kind of cramped shooting in there. We're kind of like crunched in next to the cabinets. One of the shots in particular, the screen is right next to my face, and I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get as much distance out of it as I can, make it look bigger. And some of the wide shots, luckily we have a very wide angle lens, so it kind of makes the kitchen look a lot bigger than it is. Once we start realizing that John's foster mom is the T-1000, we get to see the long, stabby, pointy arm blade thing. So we just made this out of cardboard and spray painted it silver and there is a piece that transitions from the cardboard to her skin where we spray painted it kind of fleshy colored and then silver and so kind of smooths out the transition. We made one that she can just wear and then there's a longer version. This is the one that actually goes through the dad's head and right through to the wall. And so we made it cut off so that Davey could actually put it inside of his mouth. <laughs> Davey's strong jaw is supporting my arm at this point. Davey's jaw is stronger than oh, my arm. That right. is sad. <laughs> I need to go to the gym. And then behind his head, there's another small piece. We tape it to the wall. 
prop it up against his head and try and line it up so it looks like it goes in through his mouth and out the back of his head. There's also a milk carton in there, which funny enough, we couldn't find a milk carton that was just your old school milk carton. They all have the little plastic caps on them now. So this is an orange juice carton that we ended up painting to look just like their milk carton. We just ended up taping the carton onto the blade itself. And then in the shot where the blade pulls out of the dad's head, it's not going into his mouth anymore. We ended up just putting it behind Davy's head and then we just pull it out. Ben is actually holding the milk carton so that way when the blade pulls out, you can just go zoop and have it fall the same way theirs does. When the blade transitions back into her hand, you just hold up the blade, somebody pulls it down and then she just kind of has her hand there. We're replicating their early CG effects, so why not do it in the most homemade way we can? The simplest solution was kind of the funniest. Now for the big shot where Janelle turns into the T-1000, there's a couple of different elements that went into making this. So it starts with Davey sitting on the ground. We're gonna be shooting this in several pieces, so he actually had to stay really, really still the whole time and just not move. So we set up some fake milk on the ground there it's actually just white pieces of paper that we cut out to be the shape of spilt milk and put some blood on it so then the camera pans up you see Hari she puts her hand down and then she steps forward luckily since we're replicating early CGI they sort of did it in chunks too I think just because of the limits of the technology at the time so it really made it easy for us so it's each thing in a row it's her turning forward and then what we did was we had to replicate that move with a full foil T-1000. So this is our friend Griffin, who's a great sport to come in and let us entirely cover his body with tin foil from head to toe, which we did. It looks good, but it was uh, Super not... comfortable? Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> gonna say. Yeah, it was uh, extremely comfortable. I would've kept it if you guys would've let me. Now he steps into place and does the exact same move that Hari just did. So you're gonna start there, and then on action you'll just take a step right into that, that B position. So you just kick your whole body. <laughs> Like that. So that way I can dissolve from hers to his. Then he takes a step forward, steps over Davy's legs, everything holds still, take all the foil off of him. So now he's revealed that he's in the cop outfit. So he steps back into place, does the step one more time, which is where it's gonna dissolve from the foil version to the cop version. And then he steps forward and continues walking. Sorry. So it's those three elements. It goes Hari, tinfoil, cop. One, two, three, and just dissolve in between them. So that's how we did it. So we just realized that the uh, cop shirt we have is short sleeves and it needs to be long sleeves. So we're gonna put on the Batman long sleeve, of course. So this will be his bulletproof vest and then the cop shirt will go on top. So improvised, homemade. And that's how we made this homemade scene. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below and let us know what other scenes or trailers you wanna see us try and do. So come back to Cinefix every Tuesday for more episodes of homemade movies. I could really go for some milk right now. I mean, just... Next up, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. No way! So great! Hi! Hey, neighbor! Let me know if you have any other comments in the questions below. That was backwards. My brain broke. Terminator, you raise your hand. Raise your hand like this. And then you hit my hand like that. That's how you high five. Your foster parents are dead. <laughs> Let me teach you how to pull the trash barrels in. You grab it like this. No, that's how you do it. Hold the handle gently. He does all my chores for me. <laughs> how is that fake milk? Hmm, it's from fake cows. Yeah, is this the police? Yeah, I've got a vandal. Permanent marker. Yeah, on the phone booth. He's doing it right now. You should get here quick. And that's a wrap. Oh, ow, I broke it. <laughs>